Welcome to part two of our Ipe Oil product shootout. If you're just joining us, I have a link up here to part one, which you'll want to check out, where we introduce the five finishes here. We also show you what they look like right after application, as well as right after the six month mark. Well, here we are after the one year mark. And uh, for those of you who watched part one, you know things didn't look good at the six month mark. So as we would expect, things just got worse. Um, very, very disappointing overall. Um, but part of this shootout is to figure out which of these products is best. Um, I don't know that we can do that with the way that we applied these. We followed the instructions per the manufacturer and that just didn't work out very well. So I'd like to do something a little different. Uh, we're going to kind of do a reboot on this, but I'm going to follow through on my word and we're going to go through these in detail, do some side by side comparisons so I can show you how each one fared. Okay, these are our vertical pieces. This is our control piece that has no oil on it. These are our horizontal pieces. This is the control piece there. So maybe we can just rule out a couple very quickly. Let's start with the vertical. Um, you can see these two. This is the uh, Mesmers and the Penfin. Um, actually, in my opinion, they look worse than the control piece. Uh, because they, they kind of got uh, gray, more grayed, kind of like the uh, horizontal piece. So Mesmer's and Penafin definitely out, in my opinion, um, for the vertical. Here we have the deck-wise. Um, didn't do too bad. I mean, it, it's similar. There's some dirt here at the bottom. We won't disqualify them for that. Uh, you can see it's got some color. We've but it's color from the oil. It, it seems like we've lost the color of the wood. So here we have the Armstrong Clark and the Cabots. Um, they both have signs of life, meaning there's still some wood color, although I would argue this Armstrong Clark probably just has color from the finish, not the actual wood. I feel like the Cabots here has maintained some of the color of the wood. Uh, about the same story on the horizontal. Um, let's start with Mesmer's and Penafin there. Uh, you can see it's, it's almost as if it didn't, it wasn't even applied. You can see a little bit of remnants of color from the stain or the oil, but that's about it. So these two, again, failed miserably. Uh, Deck-wise, there's some color that the control piece doesn't have, but not as much as the Armstrong Clark and the Cabots. Uh, these kind of are neck and neck in my opinion. Um, there is some, it almost looks like it's flaking off, but it, it's really not. Um, I don't know if you can see that. That's one thing I didn't like about that. I feel like if you get to that point, you're gonna have to sand. But let's be honest, we have to sand anyways. Uh, because the beauty of the wood has just been completely ruined. Uh, this is the only piece, the Cabot's vertical, that maybe you could get away with not sanding, but I feel like that wouldn't really be the prudent thing to do. Well, if I had to pick a winner here today, I would say there are only losers, especially us, the consumer. But let's, how about pick a best loser? I think the best loser of the bunch is the Cabot's. It did pretty well on the vertical surfaces. Uh, it, it outperformed most of them on the horizontal, although the Armstrong Clark kind of gave it a run for its money on the horizontal. Uh, Armstrong Clark didn't do too bad uh, on the vertical either, so uh, maybe it's the second best loser. So here's what I'm going to do differently. If this was your decking or your siding, obviously you couldn't just throw this away. That, that's This is a big investment. So we're going to sand each piece down. I'm going to use 40 grit, then I'm going to use 80 grit. We don't want to go much finer than that because we don't want to block off the pores. We want that oil to really soak into the wood. And I'm going to apply one coat to each of these. I'm going to wipe off the excess, and then I'm going to apply another coat to each of these. I'm going to wipe off the excess. And then I'm going to wait 48 hours and I'm going to do the right half of each board with a second coat after the first coat has dried. So that most of these oils say don't apply a second coat. 
I'm skeptical that that's bad, you know, that that's the right thing to do. I think that might be bad advice. So I want to try it out and do two coats after the first coat has dried. All right, I've brought the life back to all these pieces. I actually went ahead and decided to upgrade the test rig here with some new plywood, but all the pieces are right back in their original locations. One thing I forgot to mention is that the Cabot's had a different application than all of the other oils. It recommended a foam pad for its application, so that's what I did. Uh, it's possible that that's a contributing factor to why the Cabot's seem to outlast the other oils here, uh, but I'm a little skeptical of that. So this go around, I'm actually gonna use brushes, the same brush, I mean, not the exact same brush, but the same type of brush for every single oil. Every oil gets its own dedicated brush. Here for the second coat that we're gonna do on the right half of every board, uh, I'm gonna do a similar process, but I'm not gonna do two applications, I'm just gonna do one. So now that all of these are dry, I can apply uh, that second coat. I'll do it to the right half of the board. I'll let it sit there for 10 minutes. Once the 10 minutes is up, then I'll go back and wipe off the excess. All right, here we are after the, both coats have dried. Um, as you can see, some of the boards don't show much of a difference uh, with two coats versus one. Some do. Uh, we'll see if it makes a difference uh, after these go for a whole year. Actually, I'm going to do another video in six months now that we have you know, a fresh install. Let's see how it does at the six-month mark. Obviously, I'll do another video at the one-year mark. So I will see you in six months. Thanks for watching. I'm Chris with Toolbox DIY.